Hi, this is Afghan. It's been a long time since I made my last video. A lot of things happened in 2014 and uh, I've been very busy lately. Right, uh, today uh, what I want to show is uh, the siphon that I made, the Bella siphon. I made a new siphon which is uh, do not need to use uh, internal bell to create uh, the enclosure like the standard siphon that I use and uh, Bella siphon is the strainer is set act as the bell and I've made a few of those Bella siphon but this time what I did is uh, I think to simplify it further to make it easy for everyone to make and there's no drillings involved except for stand pipe holes and it's a straightforward uh, siphon uh, design which I've been tested for the last few months and it's uh, holding well Right, uh, let's be walk through the components or what the items that are required. This is the van cow. This is a 3 inch van cow. I use this in place of those strainer that uh, we normally drill holes to make strainer. So this van cow is uh, ready made that you can purchase from most hardware shop and what you need to do is to drill a hole for the standpipe okay and uh, this will act as a strainer then what you will need to do is build a normal siphon standpipe this time I'm showing you a 20 millimeter standpipe, which is uh, smaller than the normal that the normal standard siphon that I use, which is the 25 millimeter. A 20 millimeter siphon will work with very low water inflow. Right, let's make the standpipe. This is the. 40 mm to 20 mm adapter and it will form a funnel which uh, as all my siphon is using this design I did not drill any uh, leak hole is not required but is uh, because it's such a s small inflow it's best not to drill any uh, drain hole right. use this end cow as a strainer put in the standpipe then secure this to the grow bit by the way this is a 26 millimeter hole that I required for the 20 millimeter tank adapter right once you secure it to the grow bit this is as normal like all the other siphon that I need okay as you can see that's the strainer that's the standpipe and this is the standpipe extender it's best to make the conical adapter as low as possible uh, so that when you have a water inflow it will take a long drop so that it will form a very uh, good flow of, of uh, flush right this will depend on how high is your grow bit and this I made for uh, 8 inch grow bit for my ornamental set and uh, last you can put the 3 inch this is a 3 inch UPVC with a 3 inch uh, vancal and sit 
that's form the outer shell of the siphon and you can see what you can see from the video this is the internal of it finally end cap 3 inch end cap this end cap is very difficult to get even in where I'm at in Malaysia it's very difficult to get and uh, you can experiment with a different size but this 3 inch size of uh, UPVC tube is ideal to make a siphon it's, the size is just nice that's it and just cap it you do not need to have it glue or anything it's just like that and it will work fine and uh, the outlet is a standard double elbow but it's just a smaller in size because it's using a 20 millimeter elbow or down down up right you can just sit that's the whole siphon which is very small compact this siphon is uh, 20 millimeter so that water inflow requirement is about 500 liter per hour which is a very small volume as compared to the 25 millimeter siphon and uh, you can go up to 800 or close to a thousand liter per hour but I will recommend this to be operated with 500 liter per hour pump and it will work just fine 500 liter per hour pump is uh, it's a very small pump it's uh, roughly around 5 watt and 5 watt of electricity is uh, quite a small amount of power and this is ideal for solar operation where you have very little power to start off right that's basically the siphon that I want to show you today and it's a very simple design you don't require to drill any holes however uh, there are various type of van cow this is uh, the one that I recommend with a very narrow slit for the venting and this is uh, another type which is quite large in its holes with uh, small pebbles of hydroton this is not that good because hydroton can go in and this one is best being conical in shape is good so that uh, it's quite difficult for hydroton to go in or anything that will block this because of the shape of this uh, band cow right that's my 20 millimeter si bell siphon with a 3 millimeter outer tube if you decide to make a bigger siphon you can use this 4 inch or 110 millimeter pipe which I use with my normal 25 millimeter siphon and all you got to do is drill a hole here for the stand pipe and the whole thing will be mounted that way in your grow bit and you have an option to either use this as a bellless or what you can do it's quite tight right you can use the 3 inch 3 inch um, tube as a bell and you can have this internally and it will just it will be just there and we will just allow water to go in into the standpipe and uh, create a flight. 
However, you can use this as a ballast if you want and uh, use the end cap. If you decide not to use it uh, as a ballast, you can have it to be this way where you can have a bell inside this with a 25mm stand pipe. So this uh, makes the siphon easier to be made because you do not require to drill any holes. You do not require to to be very precise in having holes made. And as you can see from here, all you need is a hacksaw and to drill one large holes for the stand pipe. That's about the only thing that you require to do with this. The rest is just cutting off tubes and attaching them and assembling them to make a siphon. Okay. So the only tools required is a hacksaw for cutting the, the pipes and uh, something to make this hole. It's about 26 millimeter in diameter this hole. Right, that's about all for today and I hope someone can just try this out and make this siphon. I've been testing this for the last two months or more and it's holding very well and looks like I'll be using more of this design later on because it's such an easy siphon to make. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.